Hello, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated. That is rdklinc.com, where you can click on the answers button and get your hardware-related Apple laptop questions answered for free. And you can also click on the contact button and submit a quote request, and I will buy your broken MacBook, your liquid damage MacBook, etc. Um, anyway, this uh, video is about the Apple Open firmware password issue, uh, also called the PRAM um, password issue. Uh, what this is basically, it's an obsolete security technique used by uh, system administrators, usually you know at schools or, or, or corporations, where they want to lock down the computers in their organization. Uh, basically what it does is it, uh, it keeps you from going into target mode where you could erase the hard drive or uh, into option mode where you could boot from another hard drive and you know wipe the hard drive out. So it basically is a password that protects the data on the drive and protects the uh, someone from from wiping out the drive or you know using another computer to get the data off the drive that kind of thing. So um, you know so this is an indication that this has a uh, an open firmware password. Uh, like I said, target mode on most of these machines, you'd usually be able to go into target mode, but I'll demonstrate that you can't. It will just boot up normally. Yeah, so anyway, now I will go into option mode and show you what happens, happens in option mode. These machines uh, that have this issue are usually iBooks, usually older machines, some white MacBooks um, I've seen with this issue, but like I said, generally it's a, it's a security uh, technique that's really not that commonly used anymore. Uh, as you can see here, uh, seeing that symbol is the sure uh, indicator that you have this going on. Uh, holding down the option key and booting up and seeing this. Normally it would give you the list of boot devices and let you pick one, but this machine, because it has a password, does not want you to boot from another device, does not want you to boot from a Tiger DVD so that you could reinstall the OS, that kind of thing. So normally if you had the password, which no one ever has, you would type the password and then it would let you go in and do whatever you want. Um, I'm doing this video because a lot of people get these machines, a lot of electronics recyclers get hundreds of these machines that are discarded from schools or whatever, and the, you know, the machines will have this issue, and people just don't have the knowledge to do what they need to do to uh, get rid of um, this, uh, this password and then use the machine, refresh it, refurb it. Uh, you know, put the new OS on it. And so recyclers end up destroying thousands of these machines. Individuals, you know, will get a machine. Um, it'll boot up to an operating system password, but they don't have that password. And then they try to get the restore media, but they can't restore it because they get this and it won't boot from the media, that kind of thing. So there are all kinds of, you know, there, there are millions of good machines out there that uh, are, you know, should be able to be refurbished, should be able to re be reused again, wiped and reinstalled, but they have this issue. And so um, that prevents uh, them from ever being uh, you know, used and in worst case scenario, they get destroyed. So I just wanted to make this video to show people how to uh, resolve this, this issue if you run across a machine like this. Like I said, uh, best way to, to figure out uh, decisively if you have it is to hit the option key. Uh, while you're powering on, and if you see this this lock, uh, then you know 100% you've got this issue. So anyway, how do we get rid of this? Um, basically, it's a two-step process. Uh, the first step is that you need to expand the RAM. Um, it, you can either add RAM or take RAM out. But the first step is that you need to put more memory in the computer. I, I, I find that adding RAM usually helps. Uh, I'm sorry, it usually works better than taking memory out. So what I'll do is I'll power off. This happens to be an iBook G4. Could be an iBook G3. Could be a white MacBook. Uh, so I'll put the RAM in the machine. And very important, you don't want to power on yet. Uh, the second step of the process 
is to re is to reset the PRAM three times. Um, the PRAM is reset by holding down Option, Apple, P, and R as you power on. And uh, when, when you power on, the machine will, will chime and it'll pause for about 10 seconds with a black screen and then it'll chime again. That second chime is the indication that you've reset the PRAM. There are two levels of PRAM reset. I call them the soft PRAM reset and the hard PRAM reset. I don't know what they're called in the real world, but that's what I call them. The soft PRAM reset is just one reset. Uh, you don't need to change RAM to do that. Uh, however, this machine has the PRAM password, so it will not let you do a single uh, PRAM reset. Anyway, the soft PRAM reset does a lot of things. It resets the uh, default volume level of the computer. It resets the default screen brightness level of the computer. It resets the default uh, boot device of the computer. So if you power on your computer and it blinks the question mark once and then it goes to the Apple, um, it's probably looking on a different boot device uh, than uh, your actual hard drive. So resetting the PRAM with the soft reset will resolve that. Some computers come with the screen brightness all the way down. Uh, some computers come with um, uh, the sound turned all the way off so they don't chime when you power them on. Uh, resetting the PRAM with a soft reset will resolve all those issues. Anyway, we're not talking about that stuff. We're talking about getting rid of the PRAM password. Uh, and that involves the hard PRAM reset. Um, the hard PRAM reset, like I said, involves two steps. You change the RAM, and then what you do is you reset the PRAM three times. So to do that, you hold down the four keys, you hear the initial chime, and then you want to hear three more chimes, indicating that you've reset it three times uh, beyond the initial power on uh, chime sound. Uh, it is 100% critical that you do this immediately after changing the RAM. If you power on the computer after you change the RAM and you don't reset the PRAM three times right, right then, uh, it registers the new amount of memory in the computer and then it invalidates the, the RAM for use with that reset. So uh, basically you would have to take the RAM out and then power it on and then try again. So change the RAM immediately upon powering on, uh, reset the PRAM three times. So you're listening for four chime sounds, the initial, initial one and then three more. So I will do this with one hand and hopefully it will work. Power on, hold down the four keys. So there's the initial chime. That does not indicate a reset, that indicates the computer's powering on. If your machine is not chiming correctly, you can tell that a, uh, a cycle has been, there's one, has been completed by the, uh, the sound of the optical drive uh, resetting itself. So um, on a machine that for whatever reason is not chiming, you can, you can tell that it's gone through one reset by uh, the sound of the optical drive. So that was number two. And here we have number three. I'll let it do one more, just, uh, I don't know, call it OCD. I, I, I let it usually do four. Technically, you only need three. So here's number four. And hold down the option key. And I'll show you that uh, hopefully we have gotten rid of that password. There you go. There is option mode. It's now saying, hey, we can boot from this hard drive. If there was another hard drive plugged in or if there was a Tiger DVD in the, the optical drive, it would show that and then you could boot up from the Tiger DVD uh, and wipe the hard drive or the Leopard DVD. Um, and now it will also go into target mode. Hold down the T. Target mode is a mode that lets you use your, uh, basically turn your computer into an external hard drive so that you can uh, share your hard drive from another computer connected by a uh, firewire cable, holding down the T. And there it is. That's the indication that your machine is in uh, target mode. And if this machine is connected to another uh, Apple laptop with a firewire cable, 
uh, the hard drive on this machine would show up on the desktop of that other machine. So anyway, uh, in conclusion, just wanted to show you how to get rid of the open firmware password. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a nasty issue that causes lots of machines to be scrapped because people get them and they can't uh, reinstall the operating system. They can't turn a machine back into a usable computer. Hopefully this video was, uh, was handy for you. Hopefully this saves a few uh, machines from the scrapyard. And uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if it helped you out. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.